hello, today I'm reviewing Cutie and the Boxer, a documentary which is about a boxer painter, and it's a husband and wife. The husband is called Yoshio Shinahara. I think I've said his name completely wrong, and his wife is Nirako, and he's known as Boxer, uh, or he's, he's known as that, or and then she's like known as Cutie. So Cutie is sort of... They're husband and wife that paint. They both paint, they're both artists. He does boxer painting where he gets a massive canvas and punches it and creates these um, like massive canvas paintings that everyone thinks is incredible, which is a cool way of creating a painting. And Nuriko makes these like strip, like comic sort of strips, but she does art with it about the story of her life and how she met Yurisho and how she got into her art and how she met him like how she met him and everything, it's all a very cute story. He is 80 years old and she is 40, so there's sort of a big age gap between mm -hmm. them. She moved there when she was 19 um, and then started living with him and he was like, you can work in my studio and do your art and everything. It's a very cute story, but you see that there were some things that weren't so great about their marriage, but you see that there's things that are just, it's a beautiful marriage still, they still love each other. But you see that in the past, like, it's the things that happen with every marriage. He was a bit mad when he was younger and did some bad things, like, was an alcoholic and those sort of things. And you see the downfall of him. But you see what things they've done together and how beautiful their relationship was from then. And then you, see, you meet their son as well, so they have a son and everything. So they've had a good marriage, and still this marriage is still now. They are both doing their art. She is sort of his assistant to his art and sort of helps with the things that he does, and it's just, I don't have a bad thing to say about this, I don't want to go too much into that thing, because I want people to see the documentary and sort of be bought in by it and everything, and sort of like, you laugh along with this couple, they make jokes to each other, and like, he's saying how, how he'd be if he didn't have duty, and he's saying all those sort of things, there's really just sweet scenes and stuff, and there's one thing, one scene that made me just sort of tear up a little bit, because it was just sort of, this part that's depressing where they sort of, they're speaking about their art and stuff, and he just think it creates these incredible things, like he creates these giant motorcycles and things, just incredible art to look at. And it's just a documentary that you can follow nicely. You can see that these artists have true passion in what they are doing. And it's a very nice story about the marriage and everything. And I really enjoyed it. And I am actually going to give it a 10 out of 10 because it's one of my favourite films of this year. It's an excellent documentary. I sort of explained more the story of things with this, but... I didn't want to go like too much into stuff really, I just want to say that it's nice to see this happily married couple, they have their ups and downs at times and sort of argue over their art and stuff, but it's still a beautiful marriage and it's nice to see it and have this great story and see about this art and learn about these things that they do with the art and everything, it's just a good film to watch about an artist and Yoshiro is a great artist and Norio Noriko, I think I've said both their names, No, I think it might be Noriko, and his, I think he's his Yosh, Ash, Ashio maybe, so yeah, they're just a great couple who create some brilliant art, and that's my review of it, if you've seen Cutie and the Boxers, say down there if you enjoyed it, or if you are, if you just like documentaries like this and stuff, and let's talk about what's your sort of favourite documentary, indie documentary, independent documentary, whatever, this is just a nice film, and that's my review of Cutie and the Boxer.